If you find yourself in a difficult situation, a situation that needs deliverance, a situation that needs healing, how can you use the word of God to you? Four things. Locate and meditate. Memorize and utilize. Locate. That's good. You know, Andre 3000, he rubbed off on me a little bit. Right? That's what, that's what, that's what, that worked. Locate and meditate, uh, um, memorize and utilize. Locate and meditate, memorize and utilize. Say it with me. Locate and meditate, memorize and utilize. Why locate? In other words, if you are going through a condition, let's talk about healing, for instance. Do you know the places and the scriptures that actually speak about healing? Jesus, when he was about to start his own ministry, the question is this, does he know where his ministry is spoken about? Oh, yes, he did. When he entered the synagogue in Luke 4, 17, he said that the scroll was unrolled and he found, he located where it was said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach good news to the Gentiles and to set at liberty those that are captive. And he looked at them and said, this day, that word is being fulfilled in your hearing. Can you locate a word and say, Lord, let it be fulfilled to me according to your word. This is why we we need to locate. But when you locate, you need to meditate. You need to be able to sit down, understand, understand, not just make it like some magic incantations. You have to understand why this applies to you and why this can be used. Let me give you one example. I'm a father. I'm a husband. I am a boss. I'm a pastor. I'm a preacher. Now, depending on which office, I am, uh, depending on which one I am using at the time, you'll get that thing from me. So right now, I'm not like I would be with my wife. I'm not annoying. Right? Because I'm preaching. So these different identities, these different names, tap into something that has to do with me. So when you meet Pastor Femi, the preacher, I'll be preaching. When you meet me as counselor, we'll be speaking one-on-one. -on -one. When you see me as father, you'll see me playing with my children. It's the same thing with God. And the names of God. Whenever you are lacking guidance in your life, yes, he's Jehovah, but he's Jehovah in a certain way. He is Jehovah Rohi, the Lord is my shepherd. He guides me along, the, 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 uh, he leads me um, uh, beside still waters, he restores my soul. But when you are struggling with your identity, you don't need Jehovah Rohi. Do you know what you need? You need Jehovah Nisi. The Lord is my banner. I am defined by God, not by anything else. When you are struggling with righteousness and sin and it's trying to condemn you, you need Jehovah Sikendu. That is, the Lord is my righteousness. Am I speaking to somebody? When you are deaf, when, then when you are struggling with finances or you're struggling with some kind of provision, that is when you invoke the name of who? Jehovah. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. But I'm not here to talk about any of those things. I want you, if you are going through a situation where there is there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a problem in your body, there is another name for God. The same God that smote the Egyptians who put his children in bondage. He said in Exodus chapter 15 verse 26, I will not put those diseases that I put on the Egyptians upon you. Why? Because I am Jehovah Rapha. I am the Lord that heals you. Do you see what you do? You go to that passage, not just read passage, you meditate and you meditate. Have you found, have you located and meditated on the word for your condition? Then after you do that, in preparation for the battle day, now you start to memorize. You have meaning, but you need to memorize. Because if you have meaning without memorizing them, it will be like the tip of an arrow, but you don't have a sling. If you have memory, if you memorize the scriptures and you don't have meaning, it will be like shooting an arrow, but you don't have the tip of the spear. You need the tip of the spear and the sling. This is where you memorize scripture. Have you memorized scripture enough? I, Jeremiah said that your words were found by me and I ate them. He said your word was inside me like a fire in my heart, like a fire shot in my bones. He said that the, you are the Lord that healed me. You sent your word and you healed my diseases. He said that blessed be the Lord my soul who forgives not all and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your iniquities and he heals all your diseases he says this that I call, uh, heal me oh God and I will be healed save me and I will be saved once you start to memorize this in different conditions you will not be left unprepared you will fire it like an arrow with fire against the enemy's lies believe the word of God I say believe the word of God and touch him by faith Believe to 
not be afraid. So, locate and meditate. Memorize. And when the situation comes, utilize. Utilize the word. 